Imagine you're a hominid on the plains of Africa three and a half million years ago. You're a tiny little Australopithecine afarensis, little brain. Your name is Lucy. A and you hear a rustle in the grass. Is it a dangerous predator or is it just the wind? If you think that the rustle in the grass is a dangerous predator and it turns out it's just the wind, you've made a type one error in cognition, you've, a false positive. You thought the wind was connected to something and it wasn't. A was connected to B and it wasn't. Uh, so that's a false positive, but that's relatively harmless. But if you think that the rustle in the grass uh, is just the wind and it turns out it's a dangerous predator, you're lunch. Congratulations, you've just been given a Darwin Award for taking yourself out of the gene pool early before reproducing. <laughs> and we are the descendants of those who are most likely to make type 1 errors, false positives, versus type 2 errors, false negatives. That is to say, why can't you just stay in the grass and collect enough data to get the answer right? And the answer is that predators don't wait around for prey animals to collect more data. That's why they stalk and sneak up on their prey animals, so they can't get enough data. So we evolved the propensity to make snap decisions and make one kind of error more likely than another kind of error. And that kind of error, that false positive, that's superstition. That's magical thinking. That's assuming A is connected to B. It's a true pattern, and it isn't, and you're wrong. That's the basis of finding false patterns like God's. Now, what's the difference between the wind and a dangerous predator? The wind is an inanimate force. A dangerous predator is an intentional agent. And his intention is to eat me, and that can't be good. So what we also do, in, in, in addition to finding these meaningful patterns, is infuse in them agency. That, that is, it's alive, it's real, it has intention, and its intention is not good. So I better assume it's real. And this is the basis of animism and spiritism and polytheism and monotheism and the belief in angels and aliens and demons and spirits and poltergeists and gods. Gods are invisible agents who run the world, who control things, who create these patterns, who are these patterns that we use to explain things. All cultures everywhere in the world have created God beliefs. Gods with these intentional, uh, uh, that are intentional agents.